You might ask what I'm holding in my hand here. It's a tube of balls. And I like balls, golf balls anyway. I like testing golf balls and seeing how much difference there is between cheap ones, expensive ones, ones that spin more, ones that spin less. You get the idea. All aimed around saving a bit of money and seeing what the best is. So I bought some nice stuff from Druids the other day, including this top, this uh, polo, which is really nice, only 10 quid. And I got these balls. They were down priced from something like 30 or 40 pounds to 7.99 for 10 of them. They come in this lovely tube. So I'm intrigued. I'm going to give this a whack with my pitching wedge, my 7-iron and my driver. And I'm going to see what the spin looks like, what the launch is like and ball speed and distance and see if they're worth it. Because if they are, I'm down for paying eight quid for 10 of these bad boys. They're slippery. Not bad, a bit bottomy. Okay, it's an all right one. Oh, a bit, a bit much spin hitting off the bottom. Oh, oh dear, no spin, no spin. I'm either getting a lot of spin or no spin at the moment. That wasn't a good one. That wasn't too bad. Okay. Oh, I'm going to snap the tea. Yeah, quite spinny, these, I'd say. Settings the same. So that was the Druids. Let's just do for comparison's sake a Pro V1. Oh, I'll tell you what, it's a lot softer. It's a lot softer, that club. That ball. Oh, hello. Hello, that's gone a bit further, isn't it? Interesting. Still got the hooks. Ooh. One more with a Pro V1. Oh, that's spinning. Space was open. That was hit all right. Yeah, that was half decent. Okay, let's compare. So there you go. The three iron was the Druid golf ball. Pro V one's on there. Ball speeds up with Pro V one. Launches a bit higher with the Druids. Spins about the same in terms of deviation and average. But you can see, yeah, it's not too far off. I mean, my strikes are all over the place there. So that's more on me. But I would say ball speed is down a little bit. Doesn't feel very nice. There are other budget golf balls which I'll be testing with driver. So, uh, I don't know, if you're on a budget, the Druid's ball is, is decent. Let's see how it does with a 7-iron real quick. So normally with a 7-iron, I expect to spin it around 5,500. Normally carrying around 1.7, about 180. Let's see what this does. <sighs> Heavy hit, that. No, not bad. Not very good hit. Let's let's hit one decent. <laughs> Pulled that, but that was a better strike. Okay. Oh, that was hit. Nice. Yeah, I mean, that's 
Yeah, spinning a bit more there. Nice hit again. I actually don't mind the firmer feeling golf ball. I'll tell you what though, the one thing I will say, see why it's cheap. I don't know if you can see that on the camera, but that is cut up just from three shots there with a seven on it. See how it's marked the label there. Okay, so the average there of the seven iron was 187 carry, so that was really decent. I was ripping that. The spin's about what I'd expect. Let's just hit, quickly hit a seven iron with uh, Pro V1. So this one is labeled Wedge. Let's give this a little hit. It just feels so soft compared to that. Okay, that was like a 180 carry, wasn't it? A little heavy. Yeah, that was nice. Yep. Right, four carry. I mean, they're quite similar, aren't they? They're quite similar, I would say. Yeah, 185 carry. One, yeah, okay. So, so you can see the difference there. A little bit more, a little bit more ball speed here, and a bit less here. A bit more deviation, though. We'll say, uh, launching slightly higher with a little bit less spin and more spin on that one. So you can see how that shakes out on the distances there. Uh, I'm not going to bother testing the wedge because I think you kind of see the pattern here. It's up to you, really. I mean, that those balls are a bargain, but I would say the issue with them is going to be the amount that they cut up. I only hit three or four of them there, and that looks like it's been hit 100 times. So I think that's probably the issue they have. But... Yeah, for eight pounds, if you know, if you're a golfer that loses a lot of balls, these are definitely worth it. Um, I think I probably use them on practice rounds and things like that. But if I'm playing in tournaments and things, uh, I probably would stay away from them, or if I'm having an off day. But there we go. Um, definitely worth considering for people that lose balls a lot or don't want to spend a lot of money on it. And something else that's worth considering is subscribing to this golf channel of mine. Think about it. What's the worst that can happen? You'll f see more videos like this and you'll learn more about cheap golf balls that can save you money. Thanks for watching.